So hi guys, this is Chris from my 3D base, um, and I figured while I'm at it, I might as well do a video on the uh, full auto version of the NG2, which I refer to as the NG2 Pathfinder. Now, don't ask me why it's called Pathfinder; I just figured it's a it's a cool name. So it is based on the standard uh, NG2. So the whole front section comes directly from the NG2 with a ABS um, motor cage. So you uh, could swap this also to the uh, dual um, dual cage so with 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 four motors. Uh, so this is fully compatible with the standard uh, NG2. This is also true for the uh, Magwell um, and some smaller parts, some internal parts. Now the whole handle and the body is um, made specifically for the Pathfinder. Now the Pathfinder is full auto. Um, so for that purpose, it has a safety switch here, which will prevent you from accidentally uh, firing darts because all that requires is the, uh, for the single trigger to be pushed. So in this configuration, that um, um, the trigger is secured, so you won't be able to push it. If you move this lever down, you can push the trigger. And this is on both sides, so you have the safety switch on, on both sides. Um, so again, uh, compared to the NG2, this is the same. So you have a, a lid at the top, which you open, uh, which houses your battery. So we might as well go ahead and put one inside, like so. And I always have to, I always forget how to put it in the best way, but this seems like it fits. There we go. So I've just put in. Um, a 2S LiPo in here, so this is made for 2S, and at the rear you also see it has a voltage indicator, which the standard NG2 has uh, does not have. So if we go ahead and fire this, you will see internally you have the dot pusher, I hope you can see this, let's move a little bit closer to the camera, and let's see if we can make it focus on the pusher, so let's go ahead and fire this. Um, now, internally here, you will have a geared motor with um, metal gears. So this was the, I believe, the trickiest part in the beginning to find a decent uh, geared motor because obviously this is not something I will go ahead and produce. And I um, figured using the well-known uh, TT motor geared uh, 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 gear motors with uh, plastic gears will not suffice. So it took a while for me to figure out figure out how to source a decent geared motor with metal gears. So there are metal gears in here. They will not wear out very quickly. Um, and initially the the rate of fire was much much lower until I actually got a hold of this uh, geared motor. Now, if I remember correctly, it's around, I think, around 900 darts per minute, so it's quite uh, quite fast. But I think you can single shot this. Uh, I've had some friends trying this, and, and I think it works. Uh, single, sh single dart shooting this, this thing. So if we go ahead and compare the size to the standard NG2, you will see it's slightly longer, which mainly has to do with the fact that I'm housing the voltage indicator uh, in the back here. So it's slightly longer, but uh, apart from that, is it's basically basically the same size like a standard NG2. So again, it it uh, will accept Talon mags. Um, some of you might have seen that I actually went ahead and uh, listed. A Katana Mag version of the NG2 on Etsy for some time, um, and uh, then I, you know, uh, found out that they're quite unreliable. I mean, the uh, Katana Mags turned out to be quite unreliable, so I went ahead and removed that um, version of the NG2 again, even though it was just a, a simple change to the mag well here, uh, a simple design fix that made it accept both Katana and Talon. But um, yeah. Turned out katanas are not too reliable. Maybe a quick word on the flywheels I use. 
let me just get one for you here. Um, so I 3D print my flywheels uh, using ABS and it's quite, well, it's not easy uh, to print them because they need to be quite well balanced. Obviously it would be uh, better to uh, machine them, but in that case I would have to stock them because I can't produce them myself. So, uh, and it, you know, it turned out that uh, even the 3D printed ones work quite well, even on the bigger NG1, uh, they're fully 3D printed. But again, it's ABS because of the potential heat from the motor that will transfer through the shaft of the motor. So they're ABS and, and not PLA. So for the NG2, what I'm planning in the future is to, to um, go ahead and design some accessories uh, so like a, 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 a barrel extension which will allow you to or like a, a grip which will allow you to in combination with the adjustable stock to use the NG2 also as a uh, primary because if you use the dual cage version this thing will actually be around 130 and 140 FPS with the standard motors and a 2S LiPo setup that I use which I believe is quite decent so um, I think if you manage, um, if you put a little stock on it and the, and the foregrip, you'll be able to stabilize it even better. And you will be able to retrofit this to any existing NG2. So you simply swap out uh, the gray front, this uh, nozzle piece here. And I will have an attachment piece that goes to the rear with an adjust adjustable stock. So this is something you can um, expect to see in the future. Now this NG2 I'm holding here is actually f uh, entirely ABS. This is a test I did uh, some month ago because most people are aware of the shortcomings with PLA. I mean PLA is a wonderful material but it has a very low TG meaning it will uh, start to lose stiffness at um, around 40 to 50 uh, degrees so it's not really suitable if you leave it in your car in a hot summer it will actually soften so I went ahead and did some test printing and it turned out beautifully um, now obviously with ABS you can um, suffer problems like uh, um, warping and that's quite tricky to overcome but uh, it turns out this this works so I might be offering a full ABS version of the NG2 maybe even the Pathfinder um, and the NG2 micro at some point, but now it's winter, so <laughs> um, we should be should be okay for now. Okay, guys, th um, that's about it. So that's a quick showcasing of the NG2 Pathfinder, um, how and uh, sort of how it relates to the NG2 and what what features it has. Um, so stay tuned for more. And uh, thank you very much. Greetings from Munich and uh, Chris out. Bye.